In this video, Deepall Services Field Supervisor Steve Byra will be explaining the basic steps involved in operating our 5K rated hot tap drill. When normal pressure reliefs fail, our experts can perform a hot tap procedure on location which involves drilling a hole in pipe, tubing, or gate valve to gain access to your wellbore. Our manually operated drill has a rated working pressure of 5,000 PSI, capable of drilling through coiled tubing, production tubing, and drill pipe. Bit sizes include 3 8 inch and half inch, and saddle clamp sizes range from 2 and 3 8 inch, 2 and 7 8 inch, and 3 and a half inch clamps. Half inch, 3 8 bits, those are the two sizes we have for this hot tap. Uh, depending on what you're doing, you're going to want to use half inch or 3 8 I'll show you how to install the half inch bit. It's got a, a pin receiver and a pin receiver here. So we slide the bit in. This is what the pin looks like. It's just a cotter pin to hold it in there. Slide the pin in, install the cotter pin, your bit's installed. All the drill onto your valve. We got the valve shut. Next step, we're going to install our pressure test pump and our gauge assembly. We've got two needle valves, one we use as a bleeder, one we use for pressuring up. Next step, we've got to do two pressure tests. We got to pressure test our ball valve, make sure it's holding. We got to pressure test our connection against the joint tubing. So step one is we'll shut the ball valve. We'll go to a low test and a high test against the ball valve. We'll open that up and then we'll test our connection against the joint itself for a low and a high test as well. Okay, now that we've pressure tested our drill, pressure tested our ball valve, pressure tested our connection, we're gonna make marks on the drill as you notice, there's inch increments all the way along here. So we're gonna run in until we tag the ball valve with the drill bit, so we know how far back we have to retract it when we're done, and then we'll record that measurement once we get there. So that's inch and a quarter. We'll write that down. We know we gotta retract the drill back to inch and a quarter before we shut that valve back in. Now that we have our mark for our ball valve, we'll open it up. We'll run the drill in until we tag the joint tubing. We've tagged the tubing, we make our mark, and we're getting ready to start drilling. So we're getting ready to drill now. We've tagged, we've made our mark. We're gonna pressure up. I like to pressure up 500 pounds over anticipated pressure inside the joint. That way when you actually get through it, all your cuttings go into the tubing instead of back into your drill and clog up your valve and stuff. So we'll pressure it up now. Good. Got 1,000 pounds on it, so we'll pressure up to 1,500 and we're ready to start drilling. So before you start drilling, you should know the specs on what you're drilling, you know, the wall thickness of a joint, so you have a rough idea how far you gotta go to get through it. You know, right now, we're at 11 and a quarter inches. We'll go that distance plus some, just to make sure we're completely through it. So to start the drilling process, we're pressured up, we're over pressured on what we're gonna be drilling out, what anticipated pressure is. This mechanism here turns the drill bit. This mechanism advances the drill forward. So as one person turns the bit, the other person advances the bit. So tension on the bit is controlled by the person in the front running this, and the person in the back is calling the shot. So if I'm drilling, nice and easy, give me some more, advance the drill. Drilling nice, advance some more. So on and so forth. If the drill gets too tight, the person running the drill bit needs to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
and you want to back it off before you start drilling. You always turn to the right, you never go backwards. So we're still drilling our joint. We're getting pretty far through it now. Our measurement's getting close to the end of what the spec of the wall thickness is. You'll know you're through it when the pressure starts to bleed off. Okay, it looks like she's all bled off now. That means we're through that joint, but just the tip of that bit is inside that joint. We don't have a full size hole yet. So you want to continue to turn your drill to the right and advance your drill until you're completely through the tubing quarter inch, half inch, depending on what your wall thickness is. Once you're completely through, continue spinning to the right and retract your drill bit. This is ensure you don't get caught up on anything and your drill bit spinning free. When you're retracting the bit, there's a chance you get stuck up. So the guy still running the drill bit needs to call the shots on how far this guy's advancing and retracting the drill. So we've retracted our bit now until we're behind the ball valve, back behind our original mark that we had written down. You're now good to shut your ball valve. That isolates all the pressure inside the, the tubing you just drilled out in your drill. Then we'll go ahead and we'll bleed off what pressure we have inside the drill. Once that's bled off, you're good to safely remove the drill Hook up any Kelly hose or any setup pumping equipment you need to bleed off what's inside that tubing. If anyone has any questions after watching this video, please reach out to a member of the training department or operations staff. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.